in this video I'm going to talk about how you can multiply by using a strategy called doubling and halving. Now this is a very good strategy to use uh, when you have questions which can be done very easily. So let's start with a simple question. Suppose the question is 28 times 5. You can do this in different ways but my focus is to teach you how to multiply by doubling and halving. So yeah, when you are multiplying two numbers, so let me start with a simple example. Okay, suppose if you want to do 8 times 8 times 4, you know it's 32, 8 times 4 is 32. Now what if I ask you it is 16 times 2, that is also 32. What is 32 times 1? That is also 32. I want you to look at the pattern here. 8 times 4. So what have I done here? 8 has become 16 and 4 has become 2. So what did I do here? 8. How is 16 related to 8? So well, you have doubled 8. So 8, if you double, you get 16. And how is 2 related to 4? So 2 is the half of 4. So when you're multiplying two numbers, you can get the same answer by doubling one and half, halving the other. The same thing has happened here. I have doubled this number. 16 times 2 is 32 and half of 2 is 1. So, well, I'm looking at 28 times 5 and I'm going, well, it will be good if I find, I'm going to halve this. I'm going to half this. So, tell me what's the half of? 28. Well, that's 14. So if you half this, you have to double this. And that's why it's called doubling and halving. I'll show this on a calculator. So it's 14 times 10. So I know 14 times 1 is, only look at 14 and 1. So 14 times 1 is 14. And you have to make it 10 times bigger. That's 140. So this would also be 140. Okay, so I'll show this on a calculator always good to understand what's the pattern there or what's so you go 28 times 5 28 times 5 sorry 28 times 5 is 140 and 14 times 10 opposition don't need a calculator for that that's also 140 so let's do one more question so the second question is 16 times 5 so this is a very powerful strategy when you're doing with files. So well, I'm going to double this. So I'm going to double this. So 5 times 2 is 10. So you, do, you if you double this, you have to half this number. So half of 8 is, sorry, half of 16 is 8. So both answers, this is 80. 10 to 8 times 10 is 80. So this is also 80. Okay, so let's take one more question of 5. So let us make it big. So it is 74 times 5. Let us do 74 times 5. So I'm going to make this 10. I'm going to double this. So if you double this, you have to halve this. This is a bit tricky. So if you want to halve 70, so then I want to do the half of 74. So I'll show you how to do half of 74. So first half of 70, half of 70 is, you can again split this in 60 and 10. So half of 60 is 30 and half of 10 is 5. So this is 35. Then you do half of 4 and half of 4 is 2. So this is 37. So half of 30, 74 is 37. And so 37 times 10 is? 37 and then you put a 0 because you're making 10 times bigger. So this would also be 370. So let me let us do that on a calculator. 30, 74 times 5 is 370 and 37 times 10 is also 370. Okay, so let me make it still bigger. What if the question is 112 times 5. So you may wonder, well, can we do this 
Yeah, you can do any number. If it's far, you can use this strategy for any number. But you should be good at doubling and halving. So I'm going to double this. So if you double this, you get 10. So I'm going to half this. Okay. So I don't know half of this. I'll go half of 100. Half of 100 is 50. And half of 12. That should not be difficult, which is 6. So half of 112 is 56. So this is 56 times 10, which is 560. So this is also 560. So let's check that on the calculator. So this is, the question is 112. So let me cancel this. 112 times 5 is 560. And we, what was the other number? So this was 56 times 10. 56 times 10, you don't need a calculator, that's also 560.